Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We are discussing ethics, Islamic ethics, and in this series we will try and show the true uh, teachings of Islam in the sense that what should our conduct be. We said that your belief is with you and your uh, practices are between you and God, but what affects you and the society is your conduct. It is your ethics and our ethics should be the best. Today we'll be talking about the uh, ethics of communication. Communication, when we talk to other people, when we uh, listen to the other people, how should we uh, contain ourselves? Communication is key. In the Holy Quran, when Nabi Luqman or Hakim Luqman uh, describes to his son, he says that, O oh my son, do not talk in loud voice. Indeed, um, the worst of the voices uh, uh, is the voice of a donkey because donkey speaks very loudly and screams. And so he says that do not talk loudly and talk slowly. Uh, so communication is extremely important. Many times you are very good of heart, but you do not give that impression of yourself. You do not give the right impression of yourself to the people listening to you or the people who uh, communicate with you because you're not talking to them uh, the way you should be. Uh, there are many, many uh, uh, traditions that say that the Holy Prophet وسلم, used to talk very slowly. You could count the words he delivered. He talked very slowly and he always put his head down and also the eyes down. He's talked very uh, slow and uh, he also talked in a, a light voice. He would not scream and shout at, at, at people. And even at home, he spoke always smiling. You know, the, the best, the key for communication is smile. They say that if you're smiling, then you enter the hearts. Uh, and if you are not smiling, that there is uh, no muscle being used, only probably one muscle on your face. But if you're smiling, then all muscles on your face are being used. Uh, so it is good to use all of the muscles on the face. So smile when you are communicating. Kana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam da'aman yathabassam. The Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was always smiling. Imam Ali al-Islam is also described to be smiling at all times. Even in the toughest of the times, he had a smile on his face. <clears throat> it is important that we, when we communicate with people, we use words um, and uh, uh, communicate in the language that the people understand. So many times we use difficult words uh, which people may not be able to understand uh, and that may sound as if you are trying to show off uh, with the big words or how much you know. Uh, the Holy Prophet وسلم, says that نَحْنُ مَعَاشَرَ الْأَنْبِيَا أُمِرْنَا أَنْ نَتَكَلَّمَ النَّاسَ عَلَىٰ قَدْرِ أُقُولِهِمْ We, the group of the Holy Prophets, have been uh, uh, ordained by God, uh, have been commanded by God uh, to communicate with the people on their level, not on our level. So their level is very high, but they come down to the level of the people when communicating, meaning using simple language um, and language that is uh, uh, understood by the masses. The etiquettes of uh, um, uh, communication, one of the main uh, uh, things in communication is that using your hands very less. When talking to an individual, you do not use your hands in such a way that they feel um, frightened of your uh, style or of your um, communication of words. So using less of hands. And when communicating, you should be uh, humble. Uh, and you should not try and impose your thoughts onto the other people. One of the things that is highly discouraged in Islam is to, when talking to other people, uh, uh, in a, uh, not in a convincing way, but in imposing your ideas and your thoughts to the others. Imposing is that when you force other people to believe in what you believe, you, you try and come across as if they are all wrong and you're the only person who knows what is right. That is discouraged. You should try and communicate with uh, reasoning to the other people and try and uh, teach them in a way that 
uh, they understand and they respect you and they uh, think that you are uh, trying to come across um, with a logical uh, discussion rather than um, think, uh, imposing onto them that they are wrong. Um, what is highly discouraged in Islam is to do mira. Mira is basically when you uh, debate all the time with people, when you argue with the people. Argument is highly discouraged. There are so many traditions. Uh, Kitab al-Tawheed of Sheikh Saduq, uh, in chapter number 67, he has a whole chapter where the Ahlul Bayt have highly discouraged arguments. And they tell you to discuss with people but do not argue with people. Argument is when you again um, uh, the discussion is not going anywhere but you want to prove to the people that you are right and they are wrong and they likewise try and prove that you are wrong and they are right and that is a, an argument when and two people are quarreling they, are, they may be using abusive language sometimes words which are disrespectful and, and the discussion is not a discussion but it is uh, a, a war of words that is highly discouraged uh, the best manner uh, in which the Holy Prophet uh, has been ordained in the Holy Quran um, uh, the Holy Quran says that um, to Nabi Musa and to the Holy Prophet and Nabi Musa it says uh, وَقُولَ لَهُ قَوْلًا لَيِّنَا the Holy Quran says to Nabi Musa and Harun it says that uh, even to Fir'aun, uh, be a bit soft to him. وَقُولَ لَهُ قَوْلًا لَيِّنَا لَيِّن is to be soft and do not be harsh in your words. Uh, be soft and until a person uh, <clears throat> decides that they are not going to listen, then even if you want to teach someone, if you are um, not teaching but you are discussing with someone or you are teaching your children, uh, something which is said nicely will always have a nice impact. But sometimes when you are saying something even nice, but with a, a look which is uh, not so nice, you may have a, a face, you have made a face, you have made looks and your, uh, you have wrinkles on your head, you know, when talking, you know, with, with a hard face and rough voice, that will not have the right impact. The words should be soft, your smile and your face so, should look soft that you're talking to them respectfully. The other uh, thing that I wanted to mention from the Holy Quran is <coughs> that the Quran when describing the Holy Prophet, uh, it says that um, uh, you know, the, the Holy Prophet should invite the people to religion with two qualities. Uh, basira, which is with vision uh, and clear communication. So words should not be vague where people are confuse what you're trying to say. So it is always important that um, uh, uh, you invite the people with vision. You know it is clear to you what you want to say to them. Uh, and uh, uh, do not touch the other person when communicating with them. Do not put your hand on their shoulder, on their head when talking to them. Um, you know, so show utmost respect. Um, and there are some traditions, in some traditions it says that do not talk when you are eating, meaning when your mouth is full. So you take a gap and then you talk to the people. Uh, and likewise, do not uh, talk when you are in the bathroom, uh, toilet, and uh, uh, do not uh, talk to people from far away distance where they cannot clearly hear you. Uh, so it is important that they can hear you very clearly and then speak to them. Uh, also, uh, try and believe that the people uh, have clear understanding. Sometimes you think they cannot hear you and they do not understand you, uh, but it may be you who does not understand them. So it is important that you uh, must understand yourself before you start communicating with others. Um, and uh, in any environment, communication, human beings are known through communication. And communication uh, is through words, through speech, through these days social media through phones and wherever you are people don't know how you are saying those words so selection of words is extremely important and the impression uh, that you use when delivering those words is also very important um, and finally i would like to say that when you 
uh, are short of words, it is important that you um, write down more words, learn them, and you always improve your vocabulary so that when you communicate, people understand uh, that the selection of words was not harsh. Um, and especially when speaking to the children, use words which are appropriate uh, and do not choose indecent uh, language and uh, methodology should be very good. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that in the Holy Quran, it's, uh, you know, there are in some supplication books, du'as that we were antiqn al huda O Allah, may we speak with guidance, that we are guided uh, when we speak to the people and we guide them rather than misguiding others through our words. And sometimes you say a word in such a way that it may uh, destroy a family. You say, oh, does your husband not love you? Why has he not given you a gift? Or does your wife not help you? Uh, does, do your parents not truly care about you? These words sometimes have very deep and a negative impact. So refrain from uh, such communication because you may think you uh, have not done anything, but in the hereafter you will be answerable uh, to the Almighty for uh, creating negative impacts in the minds of the people. Thank you very much for listening. Fiamanilla.